My name is Laura Frazier. I am the Engagement and Education AmeriCorps Specialist with Keep Charlotte Beautiful. <music> AmeriCorps is a federal agency. They work with other nonprofit organizations throughout the United States to place AmeriCorps members with different organizations. And it's a lot of that capacity building, helping to increase resilient communities. It's a very rewarding program for people to also learn what it is they want to do with a degree that they've gotten. Or if you're fresh out of high school and you're not quite sure what direction you want to go in yet, a lot of people also enjoy doing that work as a year between high school and college or a year after college to kind of test what you've learned and see how you want to apply it. So for the environmental education lessons, they are focused around Keep Charlotte Beautiful's core principles, which are litter prevention, waste reduction and recycling, community greening, and beautification. So I took to develop a K-5 lesson plan series. I started with the basics of kindergartners learned what is litter, and then it transformed from what is litter to why is litter harmful. Second graders then learned about recycling and what's the difference between recyclable items and trash. And then it goes a step further to third grade. They learn about all of the different ways we can reduce our waste through composting, through reduce, reuse, recycle, repurpose. And then when you get to the fourth and fifth graders, it was like you've built up this knowledge. Now, how are you gonna enact it in your community? So they learned about the adopt the street program. They learned about different grant opportunities that their families, their neighborhoods, churches, or local businesses can get involved with. Our fifth graders, they got all the way up to writing an actual letter of intent, which is what people send to keep Charlotte beautiful when they're applying for our beautification grant. So they got the hands-on experience of if this is what you're wanting to see happen in your community, you can achieve that. You just have to know what resources are available to you, which is part of why we wanted to bring these lessons to the schools in Charlotte and start them as little as kindergarten because they are the future of Charlotte. So. Yeah, tomorrow's event is kind of a capstone project for me since I'm finishing up in the next few weeks. We met with this company called Potions and Pixels back in September, and they are a nonprofit that brings community members together through gaming. So I really wanted to bring their efforts in with what we do at Keep Charlotte Beautiful, and we're going to be doing a community cleanup followed by a game night. So it'll bring our two interests together where people get to go out, be cleaning up litter from their community, and then they get to come back to the innovation barn and have a night where they can set up with their different board games and card games and kind of pair off into groups however they'd like and get to have conversations with people that they might not have met before or with people they do know and that they're getting to share those experiences together. I'd say the biggest skills that I've gained through my AmeriCorps term here are definitely leadership. I've been given the opportunity numerous times, both leading volunteer efforts, leading events. I've gotten a lot of experience with my just overall organizational skills. We have a lot of different moving parts that keep Charlotte beautiful, so I've really honed those skills of time management, project management, in addition to the leadership, and also just volunteer coordination. That is a skill. You have to know how to get people together, how to keep them happy, keep the programs that we're doing running, and I've gotten a lot of experience with coordinating their efforts. I would say Coming into any AmeriCorps position, just be very open-minded and willing to learn everything you can in your short time working with organizations like Keep Charlotte Beautiful. There are a lot of things that I've gained from it by being open-minded and agreeing to jump on to different projects and go to certain events where I've met really cool people that I can now stay in touch with even though my service term is over. 
So I'd say just being willing and open to learn as much as you can because that's what this experience is supposed to be, is figuring out what you want to do with the experiences you've had so far and where you want to use this to take you.